By 1519, there were still some people who thought Asia could be reached more quickly by sailing west from Europe. And to them, the continents of the New World were often viewed as little more than obstacles in their path. One such man was Ferdinand Magellan, who on September 20th, 1519, sailed out of the Spanish harbor of San Lucar de Baramea, seen here with a fleet of five ships and 241 men. And a year later, after many struggles, Magellan discovered a passage around the tip of South America, today called the Straits of Magellan. The voyage through this passage was extremely difficult and took five weeks. But finally, they reached the calmer waters of a vast ocean that Magellan named the Pacific, which means peaceful. Then, for over three months, they saw nothing but the endless sea. The men on the ships grew weak because all they had to eat were leather hides, wormy biscuits, and whatever rats they could catch. So with each day, their fear and misery increased. But after sailing thousands of miles west from Cape Horn, Magellan's ships reached an island where they could take on fresh water and food. This amazing first voyage around the world continued for another year but finally ended in 1522 when a single ship returned to the harbor at San Lucar after an absence of nearly three years. But that ship carried only 17 men because the other 224 original crew members, as well as Magellan himself, had died along the way. But the sailors who survived made history for they had shown that Asia could be reached by sailing west from Europe. But much more importantly, their voyage proved conclusively that the world is round.